Oh no, 10 seconds. All right, let's get to the top and let's see if we can actually survive. Wait, estimated strength six. Oh no, that's bad. That is a strong earthquake. The highest is 10, so six is pretty strong. <laughs> all right, just doing the dishes. Well, everything looks like it's all cleared away now. Oh, what a nice view. Is that a helicopter? Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my apartment. Ah. Oh, oh, jeez. What the? Why my apartment? Why my floor? I hope my neighbors are okay. Jim? J Jimmy, you okay, buddy? Wow, what a real mess. Anyway, welcome back to Teartown. Today, we're going to try some different survival challenges and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, I survived the helicopter crash. Although, what? What the? Why is there just a massive hole all the way through the apartment now? What has gone through this? How has that happened? Look at that. What the? Ow. So anyway, I got myself a helicopter. I say we just go ahead and shoot at different things on this map since, well, my apartment's been destroyed now anyway. So you know what? Who cares? Let's just blow some stuff up. Actually, you know what? I've had an idea. So that helicopter has just crashed into the building that I stay in. What if we're inside the helicopter and we try to survive the crash? So here we go. I'm inside the helicopter now and we are heading towards my apartment building. So let's see if we can survive this. All right, there's the building right there. And you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna back up a little bit. I'm kind of worried. Oh no, I fell out. Oh no. <laughs> oh, you know what? I can just fly. Oh, that looks so cool. Has it gone through the other side? Nope. Uh, well, part of it has. All right, this time let's try not to fall out of the helicopter helicopter. All right, here we go again. All right, there's the building over there, and I'm just gonna stand about here and see what happens. All right, here we go. Brace for impact. Any second now. Uh, oh, jeez. Okay, well, there is absolutely no way of surviving that. Yep, I really did not stand a chance. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the next map. No idea why there's just a random hole there, but anyway, let's go. Let's get out of here. So now we are at the airport. Look at this. All the luggage is going around. I don't know who this belongs to, but you know what? We're just going to throw it over there and destroy it. Oh, man. People are going to be so mad at me. Now, another mod that I've installed is actually a climbing mod. So I should be able to actually just grab onto anything and then swing my way around. It's kind of difficult to do sometimes. But yeah, if you watch this, ready? Jump. And then hit. Oh, there we go. It's kind of working. You can kind of see what I'm going for here. It's just very difficult to master. Oh, yeah. So maybe I'll use that a little bit later. But oh, what is this? What the? Why is there a hole in the airport? What is all this? Secret tunnel? Is there an Easter egg down here? What are we going to find? What is this? I'm so confused. I had no idea this was here. What is that? Is that a vault door? What secrets are they hiding down here? It's... I think it's a sewer. <laughs> Whoa. That's spooky down here. All right. Anyway, let's go back. There's clearly nothing down here. But I do wonder, can I just shoot my way back up? Is that possible? Coming through. Ah, there we go. Yep, yeah, that worked. See? Perfect. But now <laughs> it's time to drive this through the airport. It's a very bad idea to leave this unattended when I'm around because we are ripping this place to shreds. Here we go. Destroy the airport. Oh, yes. <laughs> Why is there a car up there as well? Now, there's actually some cool things to this airport, which I'm going to show you in a second. I'm actually, I'm stuck right now. All right, well, that fun lasted for about 10 seconds. So let's move on and let me show you some cool stuff. So first, we just need to smash through the glass here. And this right here, which I think is called a jetway or something like that, we can actually drive them for some reason. How do I? Oh, I had it. Okay, where is it? Where is it? There we go. So we can go ahead and extend it like this. And then that way, the passengers are ready to board their flight and stuff like that. That. Uh, but that's all you can really do. You just drive forward and, and backwards. So uh, yeah, nothing too fancy, but there's also a plane no, over no, here. No, so no. you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to jump in this plane and then probably crash it because, well, uh, I'm not very good at flying planes. All right, how do I how do I do this? Open open the door. Yeah, I'm spamming it. It's not working. All right, that's it. Oh, when in doubt, use the sledgehammer. All right, in we go. This is my own private jet. All right. Don't have my uh, pilot's license, but that's fine. Whoa, this thing's pretty quick. All right. And away we go into the airport. So yeah, this thing can't actually fly. Ah, <laughs> just drive right through. There we go. All right, everyone, you have reached your destination. Enjoy your holiday. Oh, hang on a minute. There's a plane right there. I wonder if we could fly it. Wait, why does this look so weird? <laughs> can we fly this plane? All right, we're gonna have to fly up to it. Oh, no, I can't fly it. Well, in that case, we're just gonna have to destroy it then. Oh, oh, oh destroy the strings. The rope that's holding it up. Oh, hang on a minute. And also that pillar. You know, what? let's just get rid of the pillar. Yeah, let's do that. Remove the pillar and then it's only on with one rope. Okay, this isn't working. We need a shotgun. Yes. 
Destroy. Oh, yes, down it goes. Look at that. Yes. Destruction. Well, that was... How's that, really? <laughs> so, yeah, this is the new airport map. It's pretty nice. I quite like it. It's quite fun just to go around destroying everything. But I say it is time for us to move on to the next one as soon as I've done some more damage. Okay, there we go. Right, next map. Let's go. So now we're doing some more helicopter crashes because, uh, well, there's a bunch of them inbound. But there's also this right here. Okay, let's jump in. And uh, down we go. Oh, oh no. Uh, okay, I'm all right. Oh, I'm not all right. We're going down we are going down in the lift right now oh man wait how far down does this go oh no <laughs> ow <laughs> my legs right let's try this again but this time whoa there was a plane let's actually try and get in the sky lift right way and then hopefully we'll survive okay we're going down now we are moving towards the other building wait oh there goes the helicopters are we okay please tell me we're not going down no we're fine we're fine right all the helicopters have crashed you can tell by the lag and also well the huge explosions right let's go to the back wait how's this thing still how are we still in the sky right now it's not even attached to the building on the other side well looks like we're gonna survive we're gonna do it yes we survived the helicopters that crashed into the other building and here we are <laughs> Oh, that was a close one. Hmm. What else if I do this, though? Should we destroy it anyway? Just for the fun of it? Ow. All right. There we go. And it's been removed. So now it's time for us to try and survive some earthquakes. So an earthquake mod recently came out on Teardown. I've not really used it too much, but it works pretty well. So first things first, I'm going to remove this building. And I'm also going to remove this building because the earthquake mod gets very laggy. So we're now left with this one. I've also set the options up so that the earthquake always happens. Oh no, 10 seconds. All right, let's get to the top and let's see if we can actually survive. Wait, estimated strength six. Oh no, that's bad. That is a stronger earthquake the highest is 10 so six is pretty strong oh my goodness it has completely ruined this apartment oh no is it going down no no i think the entire apartment is going down how am i supposed to survive this you know i was kind of hoping for the first earthquake it would be quite a weak one and we'd just be able to see things get knocked over but due to the strength of this one well i think the entire apartment is going down so clearly this building hasn't been built to survive earthquakes uh which isn't too good oh no the lag my computer is gonna die so each earthquake lasts about 10 seconds but obviously the strength Stronger ones can last a little bit longer or seem like they last longer due to the lag. So, um, yeah, we'll just give it a minute here and then check out the uh, destruction as soon as it's over. Right, I think the earthquake is coming to an end now. Uh, the lag is starting to clear up a little bit. And as you can see, the apartment is completely destroyed. <laughs> Look at this place. All right, so we survived, which is good. I'm okay, but the building definitely is not. So you know what? Let's jump out real quick and let's see the damage from the outside. Whoa, okay, that looks pretty insane. Look at that. Every single floor is just completely destroyed. Oh, we still have more debris falling as well. All right, you know what? Let's clean up the lag a little bit. There we go. Oh, that's better. So now we can see all the damage that has been done minus the debris. Yeah, we started off with a very, very strong earthquake there. I do wonder what it's like to have a 10. Would this building just completely crumble? It probably would, right? So you know what? I say we clean this up and we see what random number we get for the next earthquake. So once again, I'm going to remove these buildings. We probably, I don't know, maybe this building would be better for the earthquake but you know what we'll remove it anyway we'll stick to this one and uh just see what happens all right here we go back to the top and let's see what kind of earthquake we get oh eight oh no it's even stronger than the last one no <laughs> sma strength hey all right here we go get ready and earthquake time oh no oh no this is bad this is very bad well i think that is the roof collapsing on my head right now at about one frame per second oh is it over it is all right i cleaned up a lot of the debris to help with the lag and uh let's see what it's like shall we so obviously the last one i think was a six and then this earthquake is an eight whoa oh my goodness look at the state of the building that's so bad but you know what i'm gonna make it worse <laughs> all right we might as well bring the entire building down all right here we go <laughs> and it's doing a disappearing trick as you can see wow 
Well, that was pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, I say we try the Earthquake mod on a different map. It tends to work a little bit better on smaller maps because, of course, there's less on there because it literally activates every single item or block in the game. So it does cause a lot of lag. Now, this next map is very nicely detailed, but it's smaller. So it's a lot more compact. So this is called Asian styled buildings. And I think a lot of the buildings um, in Asia, especially parts with earthquakes, are, of course, built to actually survive the earthquake. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens here. Of course, I don't think the modder has really thought about earthquakes going off on this map, the person who created it. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens anyway. And hopefully, you know, we'll be OK. So let's see. We've got some apartment buildings here, all very nicely detailed as well, as you can see. Uh, looks like we have some offices on this side. So we just have to kind of see what size earthquake we get. Oh, free. OK, that doesn't seem too bad. I'm just going to be up here and uh, we'll see what happens. In fact, let me go inside. Let's have a little look, shall we? Hit. Oh, I was hit. What's happening? OK, you know what? I, I don't know what's going on when I'm inside the building. So let's just move out. Yeah, look at the building. You can see it's going up and down and shaking quite a bit, but seems like everything so far is OK. Yeah, there we go. Not much happened at all with a size free. Oh, hang on a minute. We have some shelves that have tipped over in here. What is, what is this? So in the mod, we can actually set what size earthquake we want, but I kind of like the idea of just having it as, as random because you just never know what you're going to get. I mean, it could be a four, it could be a 10, which is one we haven't had yet. And uh, I have no idea how powerful a 10 will actually be. But anyway, let's try and climb this building, shall we? Using this mod I installed. Oh, here we go. Look at this. I'm climbing. Yes. We don't need the fly mod anymore as I could just climb every building. <laughs> It's so awkward to use. So, uh, wait. Oh, strength six. Okay. This should be interesting. Uh, ow. All right. One second. And estimate strength six. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, that doesn't look good. There's a lot of cracking in the buildings happening right now. An explosion is going off. Two explosions. Oh, no. No, these buildings are ruined. Oh, my goodness. That looks insane. Such a nicely detailed map. And then the earthquakes come in and just ruined everything. Oh, yes. All right. Yeah, this, this map clearly was not designed for earthquakes. Well, I think the earthquake is over, but I'm going to quickly clean this up, get rid of some of the lag, and then check out the damage. So here we go. It's now very, very dark on this map. A lot of the lights have gone out, although it seems pretty bright in this one. Look at the state of these buildings. Holy! They didn't stand a chance. Just imagine what it'd be like against an earthquake of 10. But anyway, on that note, I'm going to end this one right here. There's another video on the top right, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you in that video right there. Goodbye!